Hi everyone. As you know, I recently did the MAGE Mission Above Globe Earth balloon flight to the upper atmosphere so we could take imagery of the curve of the horizon. There was always a concern that people would scream fake in some way. So I was very careful to do one or two things to prove that it was true, such as being able to release a video that shows the launch from the mage's view, looking at me, all the way up, all the way down, until the point where I pick it up again. That video, as one long uncut stream, has been released. So there's no excuse to try and call it fake. But we all know flat earthers and how disingenuous they can be. Just a quick note. In case there's any flat earthers out there who think that they've got me in a gotcha, this video is one shot with the wide angle camera. It is not one that was used in evidence for the flatness or curviness of the earth. Don't dare try and use it as evidence against me. And I'm thinking of you, ranty flat earth. Proceed. So I was rather glad when someone came up with a cracking idea another way of proving that mage happened. So this proof came about independently of me. That's what we're going to see tonight. First though, I would like to say that mage couldn't have happened without the help of the members, the super chats, my wonderful patrons and the generous sponsors. Thank you all so very much. I want to give massive thanks to each and every one of my supporting patrons. Thank you. Mr. Sensible is proud that Mage, the mission above Globe Earth, has been sponsored by Bob the Science Guy and his channel, Common Sense Science. I'm also proud that Mage is sponsored by Arctic Haze and his Climate Anomaly website. Mage is now also kindly sponsored by Just Shoot Me a Canberra-based rigging service for para and hang gliders, sailplane pilots and skydivers. So I tried to be prepared in advance to counter any criticism with regard to MAGE. That's why, for instance, we've got the reference frame strings across the MAGE camera. I had already decided that I would start the video, start the launch with the camera looking at me, have the whole flight, lands and then it's recovered with me looking back at the camera again so that you could tell there is no edits it was a real flight but people are still going to doubt another idea i did have and someone else has suggested was newspaper headlines i could have shown um, the front page of the newspaper on that day well that would have proved that i didn't launch um, before that date but of course i could have launched after that date it's a bit of a tough one really then someone, some clever someone, came up with a brilliant idea. A big shout out to one big monkey. Thank you. Screenshot. I'm going to be taking several screenshots uh, throughout this short video. You'll see why in a while. Now the beauty of this idea by one big monkey is that it is independently produced evidence and it's independently verifiable you can verify it yourself so what we're going to do is we're going to jump up to about 14 kilometers and take a couple more screenshots so i'll get out the way and let the video play at 14 kilometers for a short while and you'll hear the sound as i take two screenshots lovely jubbly. Now we're going to jump up to 24 and a half kilometers and do the same again. And now we'll have one more jump to just after the balloon burst at 38 and three quarter kilometers because the camera's swinging around wildly so we get a much better angle on what I want to see.
Now I know just what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, Mr. Sensible, just where is this independent method of verifying mage using evidence produced by multiple sources independently of yourself and as suggested by one big monkey and of which you speak? Well, rest your sphincters. Let's have a look at it. The excellent idea that one big monkey had was to compare what we see from mage with satellite imagery because I can't affect what the satellites show. So we'll start off by having a look at the first snapshot we took just to give us a general idea. So this was quite low while we were well under the clouds. You can see that coming from the two o'clock, three o'clock position towards the center of the picture is a long streak of blue sky. The rest of the sky is covered in clouds. The UK was almost totally cloud covered on the 17th of October. So let's have a quick look at the first two snapshots I took at around 14 kilometers. Looking towards the east and towards London, you can see that the surface of the earth is almost totally cloud covered apart from one long line of a break in the cloud. The other image looking towards the west, that break in the cloud continues up the center of the image. Then you can see two areas, two areas that are denuded of clouds. Remember that it's really important. So we'll jump up to the next height. And at 24 kilometers, we can see even more clearly the break in the clouds pointing towards the east and towards the west, the break continuing with two bare areas. Okay, let's compare these images with three sets of satellite data. Now remember, we're looking for the one long break in the clouds and the two clear areas. The first satellite we're gonna look at is via METCHEC. I don't know the name of this satellite. Eye in the sky, it says. And there's UK on 17th of October. Try and get a better view. And what have we got? One long break in the clouds going across towards London and two large areas that are bare of clouds. That seems to be just what Mage saw, like this. Okay, let's move on to the second satellite, which is um, sat24.com. See if we can get a different view. On this one, we need to select the date and time. So it was the 17th October. Let's retrieve that. Much smaller picture, but let's try and zoom in a bit. And what do we have? Oh. Once again, it's not so clear, but we've got the broken streak across the bottom of the UK and two bare areas just crossing over to Ireland. Again, what we saw in Mage. But now let's have a look at the third satellite. This one really is a killer. This one is provided by NASA. Same date. And here we have the broken strip of cloud across the UK and two bare areas. Let's zoom out a bit. You've got the outline of the coast here. And you can see here's the outline of Ireland. Again, the two bare areas, the long strip across towards London. I think that's a bit of a slam dunk. That seems to match exactly what we saw on Mage. So here is the final snapshot that we took from Mage, just after the balloon popped and the camera for a moment pointed downwards. Boom. And although these two images are taken from totally different heights and angles, let's compare them side by side. Pretty good, eh? And we can even try rotating a bit just to see if we can make it easier to visualize. So what is the chance of me being able to fake two and a half, three hours of video imagery that just happens to match up with one, two, three satellite views? None at all. So massive, massive thanks to one big monkey for pointing me in that direction. Cracking job. We got it covered. Until next time, 
Stay sensible. Shut up and sit down.